Julia Scott. I'm 63 years old. I'm from Whiting, New Jersey, and I'm a comedian. So how'd you get into comedy? When I was about 28, I, I saw an ad for an open mic night in New Jersey at a Chinese restaurant of all places. I stopped doing comedy because I needed something more stable. I was married, I had kids, so I went back to college. I became a sixth grade language arts teacher, but my love of comedy never went away. Ever. So why here, why now? Oh, why here, why now? You know, I've been doing comedy all my life. I love it more than anything else in the world. Uh, this is where I want to be. People tell you when you're young, life goes by so quickly. Suddenly you look around, you're 63, and you go, I better get off the stick and start making some stuff happen soon. And what am I gonna do? Go join the, 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 the knitting club or the bocce club? Or No, no, I wanna do stuff. And that's why I'm here. When am I up? Next. I'm up next. I'm up really? Yeah. Oh, uh, what do I do? Are you ready to go give it to him? In 90 seconds. Let's get to it. Let's do it. All right, come on. When I leave here, I want people to just go, she was hot stuff. Welcome to America's Got Talent. Thank you. This is fantastic. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Julia Scotty. I'm from New Jersey. There you go. And what is it that you do? I'm a stand-up comic. Ah. Oh. Okay, so why America's Got Talent? I want to show people that age has nothing to do with it. You know, you don't stop because you got gray hair. Right? Well, I mean, how is 60 and you still do stand-up, don't you? Well, it would be harder if I had gray hair. I have no hair, which gives me the ability. <laughs> for me if and I no and to be too, fair, so. Mel, you're still singing. You know what? Compliment. Okay, back to you. Back to you. So listen, this is your stage. We're all standing at your attention. Good luck and enjoy yourself. And by the way, Simon, you're dead meat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for coming out. This is great. So I am old. I'm in the autumn of my years. It is, because my foliage is starting to change color. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. If you know what I mean. Oh, uh, we know. <laughs> I'm at this age where if I were on a sinking ship and there weren't enough lifeboats to go around, right, and I was getting the last seat on the last boat, and just as I was about to climb on board, this young girl comes up, give me the sad face, you know, like, like I'm supposed to change places with her. Seriously, I'm supposed to say something noble, like, you know, dear, I've had a good life. You take my seat on the lifeboat. <laughs> that! <laughs> I didn't get to be this old by giving up my seat on a lifeboat. <laughs> You're gonna have to learn to live with disappointment. <laughs> At least for a couple of more minutes, you know. Just... So, I'm, in addition to being uh, old, I'm fat, single, and broke. <laughs> uh, my 401k, I got enough in there for about a month and a half of Netflix. <laughs> I'm a complete and utter physical wreck, you know. Uh, my, my primary care doctor is a paleontologist. <laughs> <laughs> I don't work out because I got the really bad arthritis. I, not like my cousin. My cousin's 70 years old. She ran a marathon at 70, 26 and a half miles. I know! Making me look bad. I smoke two packs of cigarettes a day. I jog a block and a half. I'm starting to see dead relatives at the end of the street going. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We got him smiling and on their feet. Thank you. You're gonna make me cry. Thank you so much. Heidi, what did you 
think? You're a little bit naughty and I love it. And I love how you're yelling at us and I love how comfortable you are on the stage. You really made me laugh. Thank you very much. Great. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. I'm glad. Julia, from one comic to another, I'm oh going to have Howie tell God. you what he thought. You are a joy. You have so much to offer. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Why did you start so late in life? Um, I was 28 when I started, and, and, and I did it for 20 years, and then and I took 11 years off. I became a teacher, and there was other issues. Uh, do you want to know what they were? I would like. <laughs> well, for the first 28 years of my life, I was uh, known as Rick Scotty. On the way. So this is big for me. Yeah. Well, you know, whether you're a man or whether you're a woman, you're human. And you're funny. Thank you. And you're talented. Thank you. And you're brave. And I'm so glad we got to see you. You know, you're funny, you're completely inappropriate, and you say what everybody's thinking. Thank you. And you're my kind of girl. Thank I you. I loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Well, you are a piece of work, Julia, aren't you? I mean, you know, like the nice sort of granny school teacher, all sweet, and then you go into your routine, and it was like, whoa. Yeah. I mean, I talk about surprises, they're never ending with you, are they? <laughs> um, but you know what, Julia, you genuinely made me laugh because you were really shocking. Yeah. You were the one I was worried about. No, I'm the pussycat, Julia. <laughs> um, you're edgy, uh, and you're interesting, so congratulations. Thank Great you audition. so much. Thank very, very so let's vote. How are you? It's obvious you're a yes. Heidi, definite yes. Obviously, sweetie, it's a yes. <laughs> and you got your fourth yes from me. Thank you so much. Oh my God, that was amazing. How's it feel? Oh my God, it's like I want to go out and do another 45 minutes. It was fantastic. Yeah. I loved it. I love amazing. it. Amazing. She's great. I got a standing ovation and all four of them voted to pass me. And I didn't have a heart attack. Coming up.